first computer invaders were the viruses. The first computer viruses were created in the beginning of the 1980s and were spread through infected floppy disks that changed the computer's boot sector information. Since then, their destructive capabilities continue to increase exponentially. And what's worse, new types are appearing. Viruses are programs that propagate by infection. They create copies of themselves and attach them to other computer programs. A virus depends on the execution of the host program in order to become active and continue the infection process. They can access your address book and send copies of themselves, triggering a viral epidemic. They can erase entire files and destroy hard drives or misconfigure operating systems. Viruses have an enormous destructive capacity. Worms are programs that send copies of themselves to other computers. Unlike viruses, they do not embed copies of themselves into other programs and do not need to be executed to propagate. They explore vulnerabilities or configuration errors in software installed on computers. Worms are autonomous programs created to carry out specific missions like sending out spam or attacking sites. Another task they perform is opening doors for other worms to come in. The bot, short for robot, is a worm that is able to communicate with the intruder, allowing it to be controlled from other computers. Bots today are used mainly to take sites down and send unsolicited emails in huge quantities. The Trojan Horse is a program that is usually received as a gift in the form of a virtual greeting card, for example, or photo albums, screensavers, or games. In addition to executing its intended purpose, a Trojan horse can execute other malicious functions without the user even knowing, like installing a virus or opening ports that can be remotely accessed by an intruder. Spyware is a category of software whose objective is to monitor the activity of a system and send off information to third parties. They can have legitimate uses, but they are almost always used maliciously. Other types of well-known programs are keyloggers and screen loggers. A keylogger stores the keystrokes made by a user. Normally, their activation depends on a user's action like logging on to an e-commerce site or an online bank. The program then captures passwords and other important information. An advanced form of the keylogger is the screen logger, which stores an image of the area that surrounds the position where a mouse is clicked. <laughs> 